Welcome to the pre-lab video for Lab 4 of the Neuroscience course. This lab will focus on the gyri and sulci of the cerebral cortex. You should remember that the cerebrum is the largest of the regions of the brain and that its cortex is made up of many gyri, which are the ridges, and sulci, which are the grooves. Recall that the cerebrum is divided into right and left hemispheres by the longitudinal fissure and that the central sulcus divides the frontal and parietal lobes while the lateral sulcus divides the frontal and parietal lobes superiorly from the temporal lobe below. The parietal occipital sulcus, along with an imaginary line drawn to the occipital notch of the cerebrum, separate the parietal and temporal lobes from the occipital lobe. We will start with the superolateral surface. Here are the objectives that we will go through. Looking at the frontal lobe, remember that the precentral gyrus is the first gyrus anterior to the central sulcus, and it is important for motor control. It is divided from the rest of the frontal lobe by the precentral sulcus. The rest of the frontal lobe is divided into the superior frontal gyrus, middle frontal gyrus, and inferior frontal gyrus, which are divided from each other by the superior frontal sulcus and the inferior frontal sulcus. Here's a look at the frontal lobe again without labels. We will build on this image as we look at the other lobes. When studying the parietal lobe, remember that the postcentral gyrus is just posterior to the central sulcus. It is separated from the rest of the parietal lobe by the postcentral sulcus. The superior parietal lobule and inferior parietal lobule are divided by the intraparietal sulcus. The supramarginal gyrus surrounds the posterior part of the lateral sulcus. The angular gyrus is also considered part of the parietal lobe, although it surrounds the posterior part of the superior temporal sulcus, which we will show in a bit. The arcus parietal occipitalis surrounds the parietal occipital sulcus and is part of both the parietal and occipital lobes. Here is a look at the parietal lobe without labels. The temporal lobe is split into superior temporal gyrus, middle temporal gyrus, and inferior temporal gyrus by the superior temporal sulcus and inferior temporal sulcus. Here is a look at the frontal, parietal, and temporal lobes all highlighted without labels. The insula is found deep within the lateral sulcus when the frontal, parietal, and temporal lobes are all pulled away from each other. Next, we will look at the medial surface. Remember from lab 1 that we can see the central sulcus and parietal occipital sulcus on the medial surface of the cerebrum. We also discussed the calcarine sulcus and corpus callosum in that lab. Just superior to the corpus callosum is the colossal sulcus. The next sulcus superiorly is the cingulate sulcus. Between these two sulci is the cingulate gyrus. Remaining gyri of the cerebrum from anterior to posterior are the medial frontal gyrus, which is part of the frontal lobe superior to the cingulate gyrus, the paracentral lobule, which is partly frontal and partly parietal lobes, as it is made of the precentral and postcentral gyri surrounding the central sulcus, the precuneus, which is part of the superior parietal lobule, the cuneus, which is part of the occipital lobe found between the parietal occipital sulcus and the calcarine sulcus, and the lingual gyrus, which is also part of the occipital lobe inferior to the calcarine sulcus. Here is an unlabeled look at the highlighted medial surface of the cerebrum. The last surface we will study for this lab is the inferior surface. Starting anteriorly, Notice that the gyrus rectus is the most medial gyrus. It is split from the orbital gyri by the olfactory sulcus. Imagine the olfactory tract sitting along this sulcus. The orbital sulcus divides the orbital gyri into anterior, posterior, medial, and lateral parts. Moving posteriorly, we first see the uncus, followed by the parahippocampal gyrus and the lingual gyrus. The parahippocampal and lingual gyri are separated from the medial occipitotemporal gyrus and the lateral occipitotemporal gyrus by the collateral sulcus. The lateral occipitotemporal gyrus is separated from the inferior temporal gyrus, which we've seen earlier, by the occipitotemporal sulcus.
Here is a look at the highlighted inferior surface of the cerebrum without labels. This concludes the pre-lab video covering gyri and sulci of the cerebral cortex.